Hey YouTube, hey World Wide Web, it's me Kono Vidovic from Dirty Disco with a brand new review. It has been a while but I'm finally back, I finally found some time to do a new review and in this review we are going to look at producer, singer, songwriter Tom Krell aka how to dress well. We are not going to talk about how to dress well as I'm not really dressed for the occasion but who cares. We are going to talk about music and his new album The Anti Room. Singer songwriter in electronic music um, Tom Krell, How to Dress Well from the United States uh, dropped a new album The Anti Room released on Domino Records and available as on digital format clearly but also as a very special edition vinyl. You can get a normal vinyl as well but you can also get a heavy weight vinyl with two silver long play um, vinyl 12 inches and uh, in addition a 10 inch vinyl with two bonus tracks um, so let's look at the anti room in generic first the end room is uh, a bit different than you are used to from how to dress well if you know his uh, older music then you, and you then you know him for for for, for his warm soulful music um, uh, with with not too much beat progression in it slow listening music you know for late night not especially for in the clubs as some other reviewers refer to it as uh, as electronic R&B music for clubs but that is not the case that is the case when a track of how to dress well gets, uh, gets remixed by uh, any other dance music producers which happened a lot he has a lot of tracks out there that has been remixed by by other dance music producers in in and from the electronic music scene of course but um, his originals are it's mu listening music so uh, especially beautiful music for late nights or when you are in the bathroom having a cup of tea <laughs> no but um, his new album has a quite bit different sound it's dark emotional some tracks even have that sexual touch to it so um, go experiment, go check it out in the bathroom with your, uh, with, yeah, with your, indeed. And get back to me, tell me how did it go, you know? How did it go, man? <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. No, but some tracks actually have a sexual touch to it. Uh, they are deep, emotional, dark, raw, authentic. That's these are definitely words that I find uh, best describing the new album. Um, yeah, um, there are a lot of slow tempo tracks on it, but there are also a few danceable tracks to it. And you might find some tracks who are uh, dark and raw and have that industrial sound to it. But all, every single track includes his beautiful vocals sometimes a little bit too hard to understand what he is actually singing but that doesn't matter it's it's the same when you listen to music from other countries in different languages uh, which you cannot understand uh, it's not that you can understand it's about the feeling music is a feeling so as long as you can feel the vocals as long as you can feel it it's all good and and, and that is also the case with with the new album by uh, how to dress well the anti room um how did i found out about the album well it's a funny story in fact um you might not know it but i make a weekly podcast uh, of two hours long called a dirty disco uh, which you can uh, check out on my website dirtydiscoradio.com um, in the podcast i feature and i promote electronic music mostly house, deep house, new disco, but also sometimes I play some electronica tracks in the beginning or in the end and sometimes even a little bit of tech or techno but um, in my weekly selection that I make I came across this album I found the album, I downloaded it and I took a listen to it and I thought yes, 
this is nice but quite different for me to include in my weekly podcast as most is deep house has a catchy beat is up tempo and the new how to dress well album the Andy room um, isn't all that you know so it's deep it's dark it's raw it's emotional and in the first place I thought I can't fit these tracks in my mix since Dirty Disco is a two-hour mix, a DJ mix, which I host and where I promote the music in. On the other hand, I cannot leave his music out of the mix because it deserves to be uh, featured. It deserves to be out there, to be promoted, you know. He's a great singer-songwriter. Uh, he's very unique in what he does. Even though some other reviewers um, describe it as poppy music or what what I said earlier R&B electronic R&B it's not all that you know it's electronica from the highest shelf with his beautiful vocals on it his beautiful poetic text uh, and, and 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 yeah it's all it's all it's more than just poppy it's more it's not mainstream music it's it's no commercial music as well uh, of course he has to make his money with it so it is commercial in a sense of way but it's not he's really doing this with a lot of passion a lot of love for the music industry uh, and for the music and for the people and um, this is what you can hear when you listen to his music as well so if you did not do it already you might want to go out there you might want to stop this video from playing and go check out his album. I will include all the necessary links, including the earlier mentioned special edition final sampler uh, album uh, with the two silver plated um, 12 inches and uh, the heavy weighted 12 inches and the extra 10 inch with two bonus tracks which aren't available through the digital media and the streaming services like Tidal, Spotify, Deezer or Apple Music, no, these bonus two bonus tracks are only available on the vinyl set. So if you love vinyl, if you have a vinyl player, a record player at home, you definitely want to check out the vinyl. If it's too much for you because it, it, it doesn't come cheap, you know, the special edition, if you want, uh, uh, if you're on a budget, you can all also check out the normal vinyl uh, album or go for the CD or for the digital format. If you buy the special edition, you will get a card with a download link and code to uh, download the music in digital format as well. So, um, back to, the, to my weekly podcast. I managed to include his music in the podcast. Episode 279, 279 includes music, uh, music from how to dress well and his latest album the andy room and i'm really looking forward of what you think of it and um, let me know let me know in the comment section down here or go to my website and let me know uh, through email info at dirtydiscoradio.com what you think of my weekly podcast thank you for watching do not forget to subscribe to my channel as well as I will be doing more video reviews on music albums, music EPs, tracks and anything else that is relevant to the music industry. I'm a DJ, I'm a curator, I'm a podcaster um, uh, so expect much more videos with subjects related to the industry. Thank you for watching, peace!